We know hundreds of people in Louisville are sleeping on the streets every night. With shelters full and nowhere else to go, they're out in the cold with little to stay warm. Well, today, two Kentuckiana groups stepping in to help those in need, including a fourth grader with a passion for service. But first, a local fire department is following the lead of a chief in Indianapolis to provide the homeless with an extra layer of protection. New at 430, our Brooke Cash met with Mutual Fire and EMS, where they are working hard to spread warmth for the holidays. It's an all too familiar scene in downtown Louisville, just passed by Jefferson Street at the I-65 overpass. I can't imagine what it must be like to sleep outside and not have a place to go. For hundreds of people throughout the city, this is their reality and a dangerous one as we dip into frigid temperatures heading into the month of December. So often people think that homelessness is a crime and homelessness is not a crime. They just don't have a place to stay. Uh, and our job in public safety is to protect life. Jordan Yotis is a firefighter with Butchel Fire and EMS. He recently heard about an initiative in Indianapolis where fire departments are collecting used and retired gear to give to the area's homeless, adding an extra layer of protection against the cold. This is our supply room or stock room, that we, as we call it. Uh, most of this stuff in here is out of service or out of date. In past years, most of this gear would be thrown in the dumpster, but now the department is making use of the inner liner of both the jacket and pants. There's the outside shell that is not being donated, and there's the inside shell that is. It's just a little bit uh, to provide warmth that they may not have. This allotment of gear here is from the Pleasure Ridge Park Fire Department. Butchel already has about 10 sets to give away, but the numbers are growing as more departments from across the state have offered their gear. Now my biggest challenge is getting it. Um, so I'm actually going to uh, set out today and start the start the pickup process. From Southeast Bullet to PRP and Woodford County, it'll be a trip Yotis takes over the next several days with the hope of handing them out next week. That's when he plans to meet with homeless outreach groups to specify where the need is greatest. In Butchel, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News. And it is important to note fire departments are not handing these liners out upon request, but they do have a system in place for where they're given out. Anyone wishing to donate use fire gear, they can call Butchel Fire and EMS. We have added contact information online at whas11.com.